Hey, you guys. Thank you for tuning in to Coco. Um, I'm trying to record on my iPad and my camera, Sony. So, I'm trying to see how this goes. So, today, I'm just going to switch it up a little bit and just give y'all 25 things just to know a little more about me. It's just, it's not a whole lot, but um, I'll just be giving you a little something just to know a little bit about me. Some of the things I've done or some of the things, you know, I've feel comfortable sharing okay let me fix my hair it's all over the place okay so my first question is my favorite favorite hobby so my favorite hobby is dancing i always i've been dancing for a long time um i love dancing to hip-hop reggae house music that's me you got me there um, I haven't, since I got older, I, I really don't go out as much, uh, in my life, even though I love dancing, but I never went to a go-go. So, that's one of the things on my bucket list. I'm definitely going to one. So, I can, um, let me move some of this lighting. Um, so I can pretty much dance to some go-go. Um, let me see. Speaking of go-go, when I was younger, um, me and my sister and my best friend, when we were younger, we tried to form our own go-go band. Um, this is when Junk Y'all, everybody was already out, and we used to have the neighborhood come and watch us actually um, <laughs> perform in the yard. And when they get off the bus, they'll see us um, play, and I'll be on the piano. My sister is on a... Wait, we had a piano, we had an organ, my friend used to beat on a bottle, um, anything you could find that can make noise, and we used to have, I don't know, was it a violin, we just had a whole lot, and we was the cuckoo girls, so I guess we were cuckoo for having all of that stuff, trying to perform a band. Um, one of the things I learned to ride a bike as a kid when I was 10, I'm telling you, um, it was difficult, I should have learned a lot younger, um, but... I was scared to death, and I probably was a little older than 10, but, yeah, I, I tried to ride, I ran into the trash can, actually, so, that was a difficult thing to do, to learn to ride on a bike, um, because I wasn't even, I didn't even have my feet on the pedal, I used to just scoop with my feet, and just have my feet just dangling, and I tried to learn to ride a bike going down a hill, so, don't do that, um, one of the things I did, um, I adopted a guinea pig, um, went to the pet store with my brother, thought it was a good idea, you know, because at that time I didn't have any dogs or anything. So, I was like, let me adopt a pet. Because as a younger, we had cats and we had uh, turtles and uh, must have had a frog. We had some weird things, a bird. So, we had all of this. So, I was like, let me adopt a guinea pig. Hey, that guinea pig. I was scared to death of it. It got bigger and bigger. That guinea pig ran around the that cage stirred up my allergy. I had to get rid of that guinea pig because he was messing with my allergy. I couldn't even breathe in there and nobody wanted him. Now, I took the chance to adopt him and nobody else wanted to. So, <laughs> someone finally took him in. I was like, thank you, God. And I, actually, it wasn't a him. It was a she. So, I had to get rid of her. Um, so, you're going to see me looking at both cameras because I'm trying to record and see which one looked better. Um, when I was younger, um, in elementary, and I think, well, in high school, well, not high school, junior high, um, I was on the double dash team. I was a cheerleader. I ran track. Yes, I ran track. Um, and I was in a glee club. So I used to like to participate in a lot of things. I did want to do, like, the um, safety guard, but I didn't do that. I was like, girl, you're doing too much. Um... So, I did enjoy that. I um, mean, high school, I didn't do that. Um, so, yeah, that didn't happen in high school because I wanted to change things up and I went to a career high school. So, things was a little different. Um, let me see. In my bucket list, because my list, I'm giving you a little bit about me, but it's all over the place. But these are things that I want to do. Um, on my bucket list, I do want to skydive. Yes, I'm scared of, afraid of heights. But. I do want to skydive. I do. That's on my bucket list. Um, I only got on a plane twice, and that was only for work to go to Pittsburgh and Detroit. That's the only time I was on a plane. Um, do I plan to travel in the future? We shall see. And I may have to if I want to skydive. That's totally different. I'm going on 
a plane, getting on a plane, and jumping off a plane. Totally different. Uh, <laughs> but we shall see. Uh, my favorite um, network to watch will be Bravo, VH1, MTV. So I love the team moms. I still support them and look at that. I really love it in Bravo, of course, Housewives of Atlanta. I love them VH1. All the, I like all the little ratchet things. I like it. And then I get to see, like, materialistic things the women like to wear. And that just grew me even more into that fashion world that I need to step back from. Um, one of the things, uh, well, the only regrets I have as far as going to school, because I did go to college, high school, I graduated high school and college, the only thing I wish I would have another language, which is so sad that when you take these classes to learn Spanish, French, and then you ace the class, you <laughs> can't speak a lick of it. So that's something I regret. I should have paid a little more attention. At the time when you're in the class, you're trying to pass a course, you're going to do your best because you're like, look, I'm going to get this out the way and, and move it on. Shouldn't have done that. I should have really paid attention to that. Um, Let me see... Um, I also, I'm not ashamed of this, I played with Barbie dolls until I was 13, well, when I was about 13, and I actually got into playing with them then. Um, I was a little of a tomboy, like, building clubhouses and climbing on the roof and hanging with boys. That's what we did when we was younger. I mean, everybody came together and hung out, but it was more cooler to hang with boys because, you know, back then when you live in... You having fun, and it just was much fun to be out there ripping and running with boys. I mean, we had a lot of girls hung too, so it wasn't just you know a couple of us. A lot of the girls, everybody played together, so it was fun. So I was a bit of a tomboy, which made me late playing with dolls and all of that. So yeah, um, what I'm scared of actually driving. And I'm scared of being a passenger while someone's driving me around because I have a bad habit. If Even if the person driving, I'm stepping on the brakes, paranoid that the person's not going to stop in time, which freaks me out. Um, and then I'm not a good driver as that. I can't even park. Been driving since I was 21. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm still not a good driver. Um, I've been in an accident, well, in three accidents. And even though I'm not a good driver, I didn't cause them. Let's just say that. But, um, yeah, because I was recently on one in over but I didn't cause that. It just happened. So, <laughs> so, yeah. I didn't come, I didn't go out there on the road looking for that to happen. It just happened. So, yeah, thank God I didn't get hurt, but it was a bad accident. So, that's kind of like, I'm, I really don't like driving. Um, let's see. My first car was a 1980, I think it was a 1987 or a 1989 Chevy Nova. That was my car, my go-to car. That car was very old with a dent on the right side on the on the back seat or the passenger side. And I'm going to tell you one thing. That was a dependable car. I can depend on it. And even if it get overheated or you had to cut it off, wait, you had to wait like 15 minutes for it to get herself together, turn it back on. Back in the motion. Um, my favorite all-time movie, I would have to say, is 1976, the Curry movie. Love it, love it, love it. Any other Currys come after that? No shade, but I really love my 1976 Curry. It does it all the time. If they come on, I can look at it three times. Or, well, not even, probably more than three times, but I really love that movie. Um, I'm obsessed with Twix Candy Bar. I did, like like Snickers, but Twix win it every time. Uh, when I graduated from college, actually, my grades wasn't always good. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't always, it was like in between in high school. I would say elementary up to high school. It was good. Um, in high school, you know, um, I had my first child when I was 19. So, during that time, you know, my grades wasn't the best. But, I did graduate. And I pushed forward. So, when I went to college, I got myself together, put in the work, and I graduated from college with my GPA being a 3.7. So, kudos to me for that. Knowing that I had it all the time. She had it all the time. Um, I... 
learned that I made plenty of mistakes in the past and I'm learning to live with them. We all make, mis we all make mistakes when you're younger and I mean, if you can't correct a lot of things that you've done in the past, it goes over the head. What can you do? You just have to live with it. Um, I'm a homebody. <sighs> Yeah, I'm I, I am a homebody. I would enjoy to go out, but I always put, like, family, try to put my family first. So, I'm a bit of a homebody. That's not a bad thing, but I'm just a, I'm, home, I'm a homebody. And now that I'm older, sometimes I regret I didn't go out as much. I went out enough, but just not as much. So, that I wish I would have done, um... I don't, I mean, as long as I'm a homebody, I can still look at movies and chill out. I mean, that's just me. And, yeah, I look at the Golden Girls. <laughs> if it come on Lifetime, you get me. You know how you sit there and you like, uh, you look at one thing and then here come another. We're like, ooh, you got me Lifetime. You got me. So, I am a bit of a homebody. Um, I currently have four dogs. You heard me say I had a guinea pig. Had to take it back. I was allergic. So I currently have four dogs. It started off with one. I felt bad because my Pomeranian, my Pomeranian, um, I got her in 2013. I'm like, okay, she's by herself. So I got me another dog, um, uh, um, Shizu. I got him. They ended up mating. They had three kids. Three, not kids. Three puppies. <laughs> I'm making it like they're human. They had three puppies. One of them died. So now you go. There you go. I have four. Supposed to get rid of all of them, but one of them passed away, so I ended up keeping all four because I felt guilty. So now I got to deal with it. And you probably hear me in the background, but I got to deal with that. And then, of course, my favorite football team will be Dallas Cowboys. Why wouldn't it be? Explain that. I don't even need to explain anything further, but that's my favorite team. Um, I love the sound of rain and thunder, I just love it. It's just romantic to me, and it set that mode. and who wouldn't want to be around the person that they love and they want to be under when that's going on the rain and thunder? Um, my favorite book since I was younger is um, Miss Nelson's Is Missing. That been my favorite book, and I actually bought that book. Um, I found it on Amazon. Oh my God! And it's by James Marshall and Hurry. I think it's all it. Love that book. Like, when you used to be younger in elementary school and they had the library and you go in there and they played a little clip. Love it. Um, and one of the things that I would like to do, I plan to write a book about my life someday. I really, um, I have a lot to talk about. A lot going on in this head and, I, and I've been through a lot. And I definitely, that's one of the goals that I want to do um, is write a book one day. Um, I started a couple i did a couple not even a chapter but i wrote some things that i want to talk about so we'll see how far that goes also um always um i like I, I normally get hot i don't even know why this i put this on here but um i'm always cold and hot and it's not menopause um i just normally I always been like that when I was younger. So one minute I'm cold, one minute I'm hot. So that's one of the things about me. Um, one minute I can be hot, one minute I can be cold. It's just, I don't know. It could be she needs to lose weight. So who knows? Um, my favorite comedian is Martin Lawrence. I think he is a genius. He is the bomb. I'm not discrediting any. I have a lot other one, but he's on the top of my list. Um, and some of my favorite labels are Louis Vuitton, M MCM, and Marc Jacobs, and it's a lot of them. Um, I love, I mean, you, you see in some of my videos, that's not even all I have, but those one, of, those are a couple of um, my favorites. I love it. Um, it's one I really want, but I'm going a, I'm to a wait because I wanted to say pop and show y'all once I finally get it. Um... So, that's some of the things about me. I don't know if that... I'm hoping that's 25. Because when I counted, it was 25. And some of the things I just threw out there. So, hey, I made up for it. So, I just wanted to give y'all a little insight on my life. And some of the things about me. Um, if you haven't already um, subscribed to my channel, please do so. I mean, <laughs> you here. I don't understand why you haven't already pushed the button. She got a couple videos that you probably ain't already seen. 
So, um, yeah, and don't forget to like, comment, and again, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, 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 oh,